Good morning, guys. It's Nate. It's a new day. God's mercies are new. I want to give a channel update to keep everybody informed. I just really appreciate all the support that you guys have given to me and my family, especially the prayer support that is so needed right now. So please do not stop praying for us. We have had several spiritual attacks uh, come up against us uh, and not uh, surprisingly, especially after the interview I did with Robbie's channel, Celebrate Truth. Um, notice as well that Nathan Roberts' channel uh, just all of a sudden lost 4,000 subs uh, in a day and uh, was just on his channel just the other night. Um, so there's a, there's a correlation here to trying to get out the message of truth and being persecuted. Before I give an update on what I'm going to upload uh, next as far as Bible-based uh, content regarding biblical earth, biblical cosmology, I want to just read a scripture and then share a little bit more of what's coming. I've been reading in Deuteronomy chapter 32, and some things have just jumped out at me. I keep coming back to the scripture because it's so powerful. Deuteronomy 32 verse 1 says, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, and as the small rain on the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Now, I'm going to read some more, but I want to stop there. That just is such a beautiful thought. It just it gives me chills to think about it. Verse 3, because I will publish or speak the name of Yahweh, Yahweh, however you want to say that. I'm still learning, so please be patient with me. God knows who I'm talking to. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God, or Elohim. And I certainly have a new appreciation for the understanding of Elohim and the true most high Elohim versus the pretenders. He is the rock. His words are perfect. All his ways are judgment. A God of truth without iniquity, just and right is he. So I wanted to share that just scriptural thought this morning to encourage myself and encourage all of you. And now I just want to give you a little uh, taste of what will come hopefully in the next seven to ten days from uh, the first biblical earth uh, just straight out of the scriptures video that I will do and it'll just be the first of many but I want to start in the beginning because not only does that make sense but I've heard several people stressing this lately you know so I'm going to start at the beginning of the front of the book if that's okay Genesis chapter 1. This will be the first subject that I will tackle because as I got back from the Take on the World 18 conference, I was diligently studying and praying and I was looking into Chad Taylor's book and uh, some things were just really jumping out at me and I decided that I wanted to take it real slow because usually I dive into stuff and and I'm just going bonkers, you know, and racing through stuff. But I decided that in that study, I would just spend a couple of weeks in Genesis chapter 1. So that's what I did, and, and that's what I'm planning to show. There are some things in Genesis chapter 1 that if we can just help to show people what's in there, and if we have honest hearts that are the recipients, the Word of God is going to take root. Uh, I think... And I'm so new at this, so please, I'm no expert, right? I'll never be an expert, but I'm just a greenhorn in this. I'm starting out. But one thing I do know is that sometimes we try to bite off too much, you know, and it's like, hey, I want to share with somebody about flat earth, God's flat earth, you know, and we try to show them 15 different things from scripture. But maybe consider that just showing them what is in the foundation of scripture. If we can get people to see even just a few strong points straight from the word of God, not from man, and if that word takes root in their hearts, then they'll be willing 
to look at all the rest of the scriptures that speak to God's creation. So that's my thoughts anyway, that's my advice. And so my first video will deal with my uh, exploration after having my eyes opened uh, into Genesis chapter one. And so if you wanna start, read ahead. Genesis chapter one, verse one, and where I plan on ending my first video is gonna be Genesis two, verse one. And when you start to recognize what all is entailed in just one chapter's worth of material that God has given to us, uh, I think you'll be blown away. And I want to say this too. Yes, I feel like I was mistreated by the leaders of the church and I feel like they definitely should have handled things better, but there are many good people at that church. and. I want to go on record to say that several, several of the members were absolutely shocked by my firing. And they were shocked by just the vague detail that was given. In fact, several people thought that I must have had an affair or something. I mean, literally. I talked to someone yesterday whose husband said, well, he must have had an affair or something. You know, he must have done something drastic to be fired so quickly. So we need to clarify that what was done was wrong and there are good people there that are reaching out and I've already had a couple of real quick Bible studies from Genesis 1 with some of the members who have contacted me. So never underestimate the power of prayer. And uh, also remember that Titus chapter 3 is very clear that you know, we were once ignorant ourselves. And so we have to approach folks in churches that are experiencing, you know, these types of things. We have to approach them with grace and remember that we were once in their shoes. So I want to leave you with that. We love and appreciate you. Uh, I wish I had the time to, even just now with a few thousand subs, I wish I had the time to answer every message. Um, I won't be able to every comment on YouTube, but just know that I see every single comment. And I cannot tell you how many times a day that I have been shedding tears, but it's not tears of grief, it's tears of joy because of you all. Well, it's garbage day. I'm glad I put my garbage cans out about 10 minutes ago. Hope the Lord blesses you this day and keeps you. Talk again soon. Take care.